Oh, good evening. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Listen, um, just got a few questions to ask you. Uh, so what was the what's this in aid of? You're uh, doing a uh, a makeover session, it appears. Well, um, our good friend Karen, who's about to arrive, we've done a surprise sort of pamper day. We've got um, Hoi Hoi Chin Chin from Professional Tertiary Plaza to come in and do a personal beauty <gasps> thing. I've got, got a voucher. Hoi Hoi Chin Chin, when I say you talk, you talk. And don't fuck it up. I got a voucher for my birthday and I sort of splurged on my friend because, you know, as you know, her husband Bob left him recently. Yeah. And so, um, so we're just doing this and she's going to go on a dating website called Heaven Sent and hopefully she meets the man of her dreams at 42. Well, I mean, I mean she's... nothing compared to me. I mean, I've got my hair dyed blonde. Well, looks you know. in, looking great, I must say. Yeah, well, you know, I'm the unstoppable, unthinkable pants. <laughs> anyway. Well, anyway, so um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Uh, Adele Neary... Del Neary, she's well known around the corridors of the Heart School, and also my daughter, um, my daughter uh, Katrina, she uh, did calisthenics over at. Uh, oh, okay, where where was that? Well, she started over at um, Greenwich, just in a small group with um, Charlotte Hyde and Stephanie Hyde and uh, Adele. Um, they all were doing it there, and um, oh, Katrina okay. was there too, and they just sort of were doing it for a bit of fun, and then. Um, I do recall Del was doing it at Valley View too. She was very good and very beautiful and the graceful girl. Oh, the graceful yeah. girl. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And before I'm hearing she... that she was always clever. Yeah, no, she was always clever from a young age, and, and she she always knew where she wanted to go. So so now she's working as a diplomat in one of the highest, um, you know, in a, in a very high position, much more high than my cognitive ability. I mean, come on. Well, I've worked at. Uh, well, hair aerobics, hence the beautiful hairstyle. Yeah. Hair aerobics, thanks to the daughter of the Vietnam as they create. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Carl's. I'm told uh, by her grandparents that. Irene and Alan, hi. <laughs> yeah, Irene and Alan. Yeah. I'm told that she used to have a bit of a knack for uh, telling tales and dobbing on people when she was a young child. Well, yeah. She, she, she was known as Double Dob Dell, and I, I do think Chris, Chris Hyde, um, uh, her, her uncle gave her that nickname because she just used to dob all the time and, and tell ridiculous stories. They were quite often true, but it was just a time and ask a few questions. In, in the younger days of Adele, um, can you tell us a little bit more about her, her uh, history of um, being in Adelaide? Well, she, she was a young girl when she immigrated from England with uh, the Neary family, Corinne and, uh, and Paul. and. They did move to Mobbery Heights and we sort of all met at, uh, at the high school, at kindergarten. She was a very bright girl. Actually, um, did Corinne used to make the Mother's Day bags? Yeah, yeah, the ones that hold the plastic bags. Yes. Yeah, they're gorgeous, they were just so useful like for the, for the Mother's Days. And anyway, yeah, moving on, enough of that shit. Um, Adele was very intelligent, she picked up the Australian accent within a week. Um, Hang around. Anyway, yeah, Judy and Peter were a big part of Adele's life when we first emigrated and you know they were the neighbours weren't they? They were the neighbours next door. Judy and Peter love Judy and Peter. Hi Judy if you're watching, how are you? I know you're on Facebook too. I heard I heard Peter was a bit of a hunk in his day. Peter had muscles like you've never seen. <laughs> oh no, I oh, you know, us girls used to go surfing. And we'll, um, we'll wrap it up there, so thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. So what do you think about her being on uh, uh, it's called a sing star, it's equivalent to an Indonesian idol? Well, I did hear something about that. Um, Rob Codrington mentioned that. Um, I saw him in Coles the other day and he said that his, one of his ex-students was uh, on Indonesian Idol, or the equivalent of. So anyway, I said, how to think and I thought, that's got to be Adele. <laughs> that's got to be Adele. I can remember her, actually. She used to be in this thing called the Vocal Choir Ensemble with Julianne Stevens. <laughs> serious. Um, yes, I can remember they did a great uh, rendition of the... Uh, the song Under the Boardwalk, and I can also remember that they did one of, uh, oh, the one that was on, um, oh, Shout, I think it's called, you know that one? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know you make me bad to shout, put yeah, your hands up, and love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you better keep yourself decent, this is going on telly. Um, <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> um, and, and also she, she did a bit of a dance routine on, on the TV show, um, do you think the Rock of Stedford helped with well, that? I mean, obviously. The, the standard of that, especially, you know, I used to watch her. I think she was, um, I think she was a rock 
in the first one, I think that was the Japanese one, she was a rock. Uh, you could barely see her apart from her head at the back of the, uh, the auditorium, but uh, other than that, oh well, the stage, excuse me. But uh, yeah, I mean, she was great. But I mean, I'm saying that, you know, she's a diplomat now, isn't she? Yep, yep, um, for Australia over in Jakarta. Oh, how long has she been in South America? Jakarta is Indonesia. Oh, she's a diplomat, she's obviously a keen speaker. Oh, I can remember a couple of occasions where she, she did speak... Um, even from being a child, she wrote um, a little piece. I reckon she was about six years old. She wrote a piece called The Helicopter That Travelled to Venus. And that got into Riders' Night. Can you remember Riders' Night? That is. I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah, so she was on Riders' Night. And... But, um, yeah, thank you very much, Janine. It was a pleasure. And uh, good luck with your makeover. You're looking good. Give us a kiss to the camera. <laughs> so, um... Hello and welcome, Karen. Hi. Do I want to have a nail? And, um, so you're getting a, a makeover too? I am. I, I just, oh, it's so, so sweet of my friend. She's just spent her birthday voucher on me. Oh, you see, she's just trying to, you know, get me a man. I, I don't know if it'll yeah, be. Apparently your son Dale went to university with Adele and noticed she was quite a big character and personality at Adelaide yes, University. Yes, yes. Apparently, I mean, he used to come home and, uh, Say that he'd see her around the campus on uh, North Terrace. He'd, uh, he'd come home and say, oh, look, oh, across the fence, there was just a big vote one Adele Neary poster. And she had a bit, of a bit of a good friendship group there. Um, oh, the posse, the, the gang. Oh, there was, oh, that lovely boy, uh, what's he, Brad Kipschke, uh, Claudia, Tanisha, she's a nice girl. Um, oh, who else was there? Georgia Heath, uh, you know, Lauren Cox. She was never in that crew, but... I just remember her from school. She was always very close with Adele. Is there anything you'd like to say to Adele on oh, her 30th I'd just birthday? Like to say, happy 30th. You've done us all, all proud, you know. I'll just remember you, my heart, as I was in the, the, the sewing room out the back of calisthenics with all the mums. I'll just remember you as that little sweet girl and you'll always be a sweet little girl to me. Happy 30th, Dale. Happy birthday, Dale. There you do. Sad, I can't make it there for the parties. Mm, but really sad. we thought we'd send you over a bit of a happy birthday song, which um, you will understand. A little something like this. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, oh oh birthday, oh oh birthday to you and me. Magic Morris, that's me, that's you, that's me. Polly the play, Magic Morris, Polly the play, Morris and Doris, Polly the play, Magic Morris, that's me, that's you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, though. Happy birthday, though. Oh, oh, oh.